In the final part of this tutorial, we're going to add in uh, our fourth screen, creating a history or a log of all of the translations that have been done in the app so far. Let's start as we've done in all our previous screens. Uh, add a new screen here. We'll call it screen history. Like so. We can change that background image again to something a little nicer, background two. Um, and we're going to add in a data viewer list, first of all like this I think it wants us to connect to a data source so the first thing we'll do here is we'll create a new one uh, Thunkable allows you to add external data from Airtable Google Sheets and Webflow but for this example we can log everything here to uh, a local table um, and we'll call it history when we set up our local table we can use three pieces of information we're going to do input we'll do output uh, like this, and we'll do and be lang maybe because this is going to be our language code. Uh, we can get rid of all of these buttons here, remove this row, right click, remove this row, right click one more time and remove that row. Let's do hello, let's do hola, and our language code can yes, like this. Um, the final thing that we need to do here is in our data viewer. We have specified our data source. That's our local table. Um, you can have multiple tables inside here. We just have table one. And for this one, let's do a subtitle as well. So this asks us for a picture. We don't need to specify one. Let's show our input on the top. Let's show the um, output in the bottom like this. And we can resize this here. Um, the last thing I want to do now is uh, add in a button and a label. So a button at the bottom down here. Let's get everything nice and centered. Uh, a label as well at the top. So a label over here. Like that. And this is uh, history. Update our font color. Make this bold. I think that's all looking good. And the last thing we're going to do is just update that button color there as well. Um, so, yep, you can style this and theme it however you like. We're going to just use this one here. Great. Um, so, we'll go back. And the, um, the blocks for this screen are really, really easy to set up. Um, all we're going to do here is refresh the data when we open up the screen. So when this screen opens, let's zoom in here a small bit. When the screen opens, let's uh, refresh the data. Make sure that we're using the, the most recent version. When the back button is pressed, we're going to bring uh, the user back to the translate screen. So this allows them to go back and forth between their translations and the history of their translation. And the final thing then is we're going to add a little bit more technology here, get our phone to start speaking to us. So we are going to do text to speech and we can get it to say a particular word, uh, say hello in English in this case. So if we preview this, so if your um, computer doesn't have any sound or anything like that, you won't be able to hear this, but we can we can hear the the word hello is being said there uh we don't want to just say the same word over and over again of course that's not particularly interesting what we can do though is we can use this new um tab that's appeared here we've now got these data sources so we can get a value um based on the row id uh let's change this to the output let's change the language here let's hard code this in as spanish just for a moment uh, Spanish and uh, let's try this so we want to we want the the output like this Hola. okay so it's changed the language it's changed the accent uh, that's looking a lot better but the final thing of course is that we have multiple languages and you might have different languages in your app so let's get a value from our uh, lang as well our languages column based on the row ID that's uh, that's clicked and I think that's really everything that we need to get this to work. 
Um, and we need to make one more addition or one more change to the um, translate screen. We'll get the languages button here. We'll make a copy of that. Drag this over to the side a little bit. And rather than have being languages one, this is going to be our history. And we're going to change that image to history. So we've light mode and dark mode. Let's go with the, this one here. We're using that contain uh, resize mode. So there's this nice border around it. Um, and that is looking pretty good so far. Let's um, let's let's try this out a little bit because uh, that's pretty much everything we need. So I can say thank you. Like this we can change the language. Um, say hello. Like this we've got bonjour, and then one more. Let's say goodbye. And we probably want to clear out this label as well, but we can do that in a minute. Let's go to our history now. We need to add a block for this. So you can click on the blocks tab in here. The letter T here shows you that you can use the keyboard shortcut T or down here in interactive, you can click on add a block. So let's add the blocks here for the history. Let's connect that to our history screen like this. And now we can, excellent. And Hola. let's go back. Every time we've got a translation, uh, we're not seeing any of those because we need to save those into our, um, our data table. So here in our data sources, let's create a row. Um, down here, I think is probably the best place for it. Um, and what we can do then is the input is going to be the label text. The output is going to be the um, the output is going to be the label actually, and our language is going to be here. So let's click on these drop downs. Remember that we can choose different components here. So label output is going to be our output value. We're going to get the text there. We're going to get the text from the input, store that in the input column. We're going to get this uh, language variable and store that in the language column. And uh, yeah, now we have uh, another app ready to test. So uh, testing, let's change the language. Um, hope this uh, works. Um, change it again. Last one there. Now we have a whole selection of different. Excellent. So we have a whole um, selection of different languages, uh, different text to speech functionality. We can go back and forth here. Uh, if you want to, what we should do is clear out that label when that screen opens. Like that. Get rid of this and um, yeah that's that's all there is to adding in text-to-speech translation adding in um, translation uh, component uh, using the text-to-speech functionality as well uh, over here um, and obviously then when you're um, happy with your app you're able to publish this to the web publish to iOS and publish to Android if you want what you can do right now is you can you can download this to your, your Android device and you can load the APK and and try it out or you share it with your, your friends, your family. Um, but a very, very simple, uh, but quite a complex um, and, and a very nice looking um, translation app uh, built in, in under an hour. Um, let us know in the comments what sort of languages you've added and how you've customized it. We would love to hear more about how you get on using Punkable.